and glorify God. The Son of God is highly lifted at the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and every tongue shall compare to confess that Jesus is Lord. Just open your mouth and lift the name of Jesus. 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 Rapa Zakata Rabahanda. Ripa Zola Baganda. Maka Dora Bahande. Repe Zire Bayanda. Maka Zokata Rababosha. Rebe in the Rebaganda. In the name of Jesus. Somebody lift the name of Jesus on high. I will say that when his name is exalted, he shall draw men to himself. Just lift his name up high. Your name is to exalt your work. Your work is to exalt the name of Jesus. Your work is to lift the name of Jesus high. And he shall draw men to himself. His work is to draw men where he is lifted. He draws men where he is lifted. He draws men where he is lifted up. Rapa Zanda Ribayanda. Lift the name of Jesus up. And do not tire. Do not get tired of exalting the name that is above every other name. Of exalting the name that is above every other name. Rapa Ganda Ribayanda. Repe Ziriba Ganda Raba. Rapa Zola Bayanda. Exalt the name of Jesus. Exalt his name. Exalt his name. Exalt his name. And to the name of Jesus, lift the name of Jesus high. Lift the name of Jesus high. Lift the name of Jesus high. We are created for one reason, but to worship God and to exalt his name. 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 Somebody, somebody be found in a place where your voice is heard from the sanctuary. Where your voice is heard from the sanctuary. Where your voice is heard from the sanctuary. Sanctuary, where your voice is heard from the sanctuary. You cannot be tired of calling the name of Jesus. There is no other name that is given unto man for your own salvation. There is no other name that is given unto man that has power but the name of Jesus. You cannot get tired of calling the name of Jesus. You cannot go be tired. You cannot be tired. You cannot be tired of calling this name. Who is the choker? Who is the among Who is the choker? Who is the Gina Layesu? Call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. In every situation, call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Oh my sure family. Oh my sure life. Call the name. Call the name. Call the name. Call the name Jesus. Call the name Jesus. Call the name Jesus. Call the name Jesus. Rapa Zata Randa. Makazila Bahanda. Repa Soka Tayanda. Mapa Zanda Raba. Reka Zanda Riba. Makazola Babusha. Ripa Zanda Rabaganda. Maprende Reba Zanda. Your, your tongue, your tongue, your tongue. Bible says that my tongue is the pen of a steady writer. My tongue is the pen of a steady writer. Write your destiny. Write your destiny with your tongue. 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 Go for the result with your tongue. Go for results with your tongue. Go for results. Go for results. Go for results. Go for results. Go for Go for results, go for results, order the business, order, order everything, order the house, order the family, order those children, your pen, your pen is your tank, you can write decrees, you can write decrees. Rapa Zanda Rababush, Rika Zanda Rabaganda, Rapa Zola Baganda Rababush, Repe Zire Baganda. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you and we give you glory. You are lifted up. You are lifted up. Your name is lifted up. Your name is lifted up. Your name is lifted up. Above every other name. Above every other name. The name of Jesus is to be hallowed. Your name 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 is to be hallowed, God. And we praise you this afternoon. And we give you praise. Somebody can give the Lord a shout of praise. And a shout of praise. A shout of praise. A shout of praise. You can give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. 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 A shout 
A shout is called a shabak. Now in the Bible, the word that they use is a shabak. You know, when, 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 when Balak calls Balaam and tells Balaam, come and cast these men that they can, that they can be weakened, that I can overcome them in battle. When the prophet is speaking, he says, how can I cast them? Because Shabak is with them. The shout of the king, the shout of victory is with them. Praise the name of Jesus. When, when, when the Israelites are told, you shall not fight, but you will give a shout unto God. And the wall of Jerusalem shall come down. It is the Shabbat you shall give. There is a shout you give that determines your victory. Because there is a shout of the king that is a shout of battle. Hallelujah. When, when the children of Israel are fighting against the Philistines. And the ark of the covenant is brought in their camp. They give a shout that makes the earth tremble. And then the Philistine says, we are finished because their God is now among them. That shout they gave, that was a sign of victory, is called a Shabbat. Hallelujah. And I want us to give a Shabbat, a, a shout of victory over our life. Somebody, one, two, three, give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, 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 hallelujah. Amen. You can have your seat and just sit in a victorious design. Hallelujah. Because you are a winner and nobody can say otherwise. The Lord has declared you are a victor. There is no one else that can declare otherwise. Hallelujah. The Lord has declared that you are a winner. There is nobody else with the mandate to speak contrary to that. Hallelujah. Mungu akisema amesema. You know when they were crucifying Jesus. And then the king wrote. And the king wrote and said. Jesus the king of the Jews. Now the, the, the high priest and some elders of the church. They went and said, you cannot write Jesus, the king of the Jews, but write this man said he is, or he purported to be the king of the Jews. But I love the answer that Pontius Pilate said, he said, what I have written, I have written. And I am come to tell you that what God has written about your life, he has written, he has finished. Hallelujah. Even if they come with appeal, our God cannot be appealed against. Our God, the decrees of our God, there is nobody who can bring an appeal. There is no debate about what God says. What he says, he has said it and it is finished. So when he says you are a winner, you are a winner. Hallelujah. When he says you are above, you are above. When he says that there is nothing that can, that can come against you, there is nothing that can come against you. Hallelujah. And this afternoon, I want us to share briefly, and I've just come to just make a declaration, just a very simple declaration. And this afternoon, I want to say, God is determined to do us good. Hallelujah. God is determined to do us good. Hallelujah. Not God was determined. Not God can be determined. Not God shall be determined. But God is determined to do us good. Hallelujah. Ame, ame yahidi. Na anaweza kutimiza. Na ameahidi ya kwamba atatufanya viema. He is determined to do us good. Hallelujah. Zechariah 8 verse number 15. And we're going to have quite a number of readings. And then we shall hear the word of God. Zechariah chapter number 8 verse number 15. What does the Bible say? Zechariah 8 15. So again in these days, 
Say in these days. Not in the days that were there. In these days. So again in these days. I am determined. Not I was. Not I will be. I am determined to do good to Jerusalem. And to the house of Judah. Do not fear. Hallelujah. Now let's go to verse number 14. So that we know who is saying. Let's go to verse number 14. So that we know who is saying this. For that says who? The Lord, and not only the Lord, the Lord of hosts. He is called Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord who is the commander of the armed forces of heaven. Thus says the Lord of hosts, just as I determined to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says the Lord of hosts, and I would not relent. In the same way, verse number 15. So again in these days, I am determined to do good to Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Do not fear. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 verse number 11. Jeremiah 29 verse number 11. I think I can give these scriptures so that you can bookmark them for us. So that we are able to read them fast after Jeremiah 29, 11. You can mark that. And we're going to read the book of Romans 8, verse number 28 to 32. Romans 8, 28 to 32. So that we are fast when we go to reading. And then we'll uh, finalize with Deuteronomy 28 from verse number 1. And there we read quite a number of verses. So we can uh, go to Jeremiah 29, 11 if you are there. Hallelujah. Bible says, for I know, hallelujah, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says who? Says who? For I know the thoughts that I, ha I think towards you, says the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. God is determined to do us good. Hallelujah. Romans 8, 28 to 32. Romans 8, 28 to 32. And we know, who knows? It is us now. For we know that all things work together for what? For all things work together for good. Everything is working around for my good. Hallelujah. Everything is working around for my good. For we know that all things work together for good. To those who love God. To those who are called according to his purpose. Verse 29. Verse 29. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined. Hallelujah. My destiny is sure because for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. That means your image that he is bringing on you is the image of his son. Hallelujah. When everything is working for your good, you are being brought to the image of his son. And what does he say? That he, may, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And that is what the Bible says. Moreover, whom he predestined, this he also called. Whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, this he also glorified. There is a process. You are predestined. Then you are called. Then you are justified. Then you are glorified. And verse number 31 says, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? And verse 32 says, He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. That uh, how shall uh, he would not spare his own son, but delivered him up all for us? How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? He is determined to do us good. Praise the name of Jesus. So we know that 
all things they are working around for our good it does not matter how things around you are looking like but i have come to make a decree to you this afternoon that all things are working together for your good even if they look like they are not there is the only one thing you need to ask yourself is who am i called am i called among the believers because bible says he is determined to do us good and he is not relenting but he is continually doing us good hallelujah god is determined to do us good god is determined to do us good and god is able Ephesians 3.20 says, And God is able to do abundantly, exceedingly, and above all that we are able to think or even imagine. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us and the power that works in us is the power of resurrection that brought Jesus from the dead the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is living in us it is a power that is able to bring result of good hallelujah so all we need to ask ourselves is do i have the power have i carried the power have i carried the power the spirit of jesus because he is determined to do us good and he is able to do us good now let me tell you something if there is somebody who may come to you and tell you tomorrow I will take you out for lunch. And then you look at them and you laugh. Because the way they look, themselves, they are not satisfied. They are not satisfying yourself. Hallelujah. But there's another person who can tell you, tomorrow, I will take you for lunch. And that word alone makes you change your protocol. And it makes you change your program. Because you know when he says he will, tell, he will take you for lunch, he means it because he is able to do it. Hallelujah. Now our God is a God who is able. He is the God who is able. He is the God who is able and he is not afraid to say I am the God. I am the God who carries your infirmities. I am God of hosts. I am the Lord of hosts. That means I am determined to do you good and anything or anybody that does not comply. I have the hosts to command them to do you good. Hallelujah. Yani mungu akiamua anakufanyia vyema hata boss aamue anakufanyia vipaya anaamrishwa na majeshi ya binguni lazima akutende mema whether they want or not when it is the lord of hosts who is speaking it is a decree by the order of the commander in chief and the commander in chief cannot be argued with Hallelujah. When the president of Kenya is speaking, you know, if, if those of you who follow politics, when we were having last week the deputy presidential debate, and uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa team, their deputy, uh, or rather the, 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 the running mate to the deputy, to, 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 to the aspirant of the president, one Mr. Rigade Gashagua, when he was told to speak, he would address and say, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, one Uhuru Kenyatta. He would say Uhuru Kenyatta, but he could not say the president. He attacked Uhuru Kenyatta. There is a difference between when you attack Uhuru and when you attack the president. Because when you attack the president, you are attacking the commander in chief. If, you, if he said the president, then that night he would have slept in central. 
But he said, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, nobody will touch you. Because there is a difference between when you're talking about the person and the office. Now, when God is saying, I am the Lord of hosts, he is saying that I am in the position where nobody can argue with me. I am in the position where I am not making a suggestion. I am making a decree that everything must work for good for you. Hallelujah. And then Paul says, for we know that all things work together for good. For them that are called according to his purpose. Now are you called according to the purpose of God? Everything is working together for your good. Hallelujah. Everything is working together for your good. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God. Do you love God? Do you love God? If you love God, then all things, all things, including everything, all things, including that one you are thinking about, all things, including that heartbreak. All things, including that financial setdown. All things, including that disease. All things are working together for good for them that love the Lord. Now, how do these things work together for good? Jesus is walking with the disciples. And when he is walking with the disciples, the Bible says, and he noted a man who was born blind, who was blind from birth, from the mother's womb. He had no seen light. Hallelujah. Then the disciples asked him, who sinned? Is it this man or the parents? And Jesus said, neither this man nor the parents are sinned, but this was brought about. That it may bring glory to, the, to, to, to God. That it may be a manifestation of the Messiah. Now even that situation, it is brought to you that it can glorify God. You know, it is a testimony when you say, I could not afford food, but now I eat what I want. I could not afford to pay transport, but today I drive myself. I could not afford to pay house rent, but now I'm living in my own mansion. I could not afford to walk. I could not afford to wear shoes, but today I am the giver of shoes. I could not afford this this, but today I am the supplier. It is a testimony. So God will put you in a situation that it can work together, that when he delivers you, it will bring glory to his name. Hallelujah. There are some things that you cannot do unless God is with you. In John 3, Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and he tells him, Rabbi, we know you are a man sent from God for no one can do the things you do unless God is with him. And I have come to tell you, they will come to you and they will tell you, we have seen your God. We have seen your God. For no one can achieve this kind of result unless God is with them. They will come to you and they will tell you, I desire you are God, not because you have preached, but because the result they are seeing in your life is enough. Hallelujah. They will tell you, I desire to know you are God because I have seen the result. I have seen the result. I have seen the things he is doing for you. I was here when your house was locked. I was here when you are begging for bread. I was here when you are struggling with sickness. But in this season, God is determined to do you good. And when he does you good, they will come with a testimony. And they will say, I have seen your God. And I desire to serve and worship your God. Hallelujah. God is determined to do as good. He is determined to do as good. He is determined to do as good. Hallelujah. God is determined. And there is, there is nothing 
If you continue reading from verse 33 of Romans 8, it will show you that there is nothing, there is nothing that can separate you from the will of God. We may not have time to do it today, but you can go read from that, from that read downward and you realize not even death. Hallelujah. Not even death can separate you from the love of God. Not even death. Not even, not even death. You know, people fear death, but not even death. Jesus is told that Lazarus, your friend, is sick. And then he says, that disease, that sickness is not unto death, but to bring glory to God. But then he delays. Hallelujah. But then he delays and stays further two days, another three days. And he's showing up on the fourth day. I love when he's telling his disciples, Lazarus, our friend, is asleep. Let us go and wake him up. There is a love bound that is there between Jesus and Lazarus. Jesus loved Lazarus. Hallelujah. The way Jesus loves you, he loved Lazarus. The same way he loved Lazarus is the same way he loves you. So even when you sleep, he will say, let us go and awake him. Let us go and awake her. And Thomas is saying, if he is asleep, then he will wake up. And then he told them that they may understand he is dead, but we have gone to raise him up. And then Thomas said, then let us go and die with him. Because he knew that when one is dead, that that is the end. But when Jesus comes, he tells them, roll away the stone. And he calls Lazarus. And Lazarus comes back to life. Not even death can separate us from the purpose that God has determined to do for us. Hallelujah. Ukikufa kama mungu haja kutimizia agano. Anakuja, anakufufua, ili agano lake liishi, na agano lake timilike, na wengine waone, na watoe ushuhuda. Hallelujah. You can imagine that Saturday, because then they used to fellowship on Saturday in the synagogue. And then the testimony time comes, and Lazarus stands and says, I am the one who was dead. And you buried me. And you came to my burial. And when you buried me four days, I was in the land of the dead. But Jesus called me. And now I am alive. Imagine the glory. Imagine the glory that came to the name of Jesus. Even them that could not believe. When they saw Lazarus walking, they continued to believe. When they saw the lame man who was seated at the beautiful gate, jumping and limping in the temple, they believed in Jesus. When they saw Tabitha come back to life, they believed in the name of Jesus when they saw the miracles that were with her, that were with Paul, that were with Peter, that were with the apostles. They believed in God and I have come to tell you your testimony shall be the reason where many shall transform. Your testimony that God is bringing to your mouth, it is a testimony that shall make men follow Jesus. It shall make men desire your God. The testimony that God is giving to you, they shall make many to come and to believe in your God. Hallelujah. Wanaeza kosa kwa minu kiwambia saizi. Lakini acha mugu wafanya. Once God has done and he has determined to do, they will be coming to seek for you. And they will be asking, can I just shake your hand? It is an honor to shake your hand. Ata, siyo kuketi na wewe. It is an honor to shake your hand. It is an honor that you've received my call. They will call you and when you answer, they will say, I am greatly humbled that you have answered my call. Hallelujah. God is determined to do us good. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Time is gone. But let us finish this. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. And I'm going to read very fast. We're going to read quite a number of verses. Verse 1 says, Now it shall come to pass 
If you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you above all nations of the earth. Verse number two. And this, and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Verse three. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the country. Verse 4. Ah, blessed shall be the fruit of your body, produce of your ground and increase of your heart, the increase of your cattle and offspring of your flocks. Verse 5. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Verse 6. Blessed shall be you when you come in and blessed shall be you when you go out. Verse 7. And the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out to you against you one way and free before you seven ways. Verse 8. Ah, verse 8. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses. So if you don't have a bank account, go and open. Hallelujah. If you don't have a bank account, to go and open today. Because the blessing is coming to your storehouses. And the Lord will command, uh, will command your blessing in your storehouses. And in all to which you set your hand. That means even your business. Even that place you're employed. So long as your hand is there, there's a blessing. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. And verse number 9. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself. Just as he has sold to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. Verse number 9. Then all the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And they shall be afraid of you. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And the Lord will grant you plenty of good in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your ground, in the land of, of which the Lord sought to your fathers to give you. You can't even stop there. Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens. You can read the whole of it. The whole of Deuteronomy 28. There are so many blessings, but I have come to bring you this one message. That even the earth, they shall see the doings of the Lord. They shall see what the Lord has done in your life. And they shall be afraid. They will see what God is doing in your life. And they shall glorify God. And they shall be afraid. Because they shall say, there is no other nation that has God so close to them as their God. There is no other people that have a God so close to them as these men have their God. There is no other nation that has their God so close to them as these men have. And they'll come to you as the Gibeonites came to Joshua. And when the Gibeonites saw that Joshua is defeating the land, they disguised themselves and they came to Joshua and told Joshua, we are men from a far city, but we have come that we may become your servants, that you may have a treaty with us, that you shall not destroy us. And when the other men of Canaan and the Midianites, when they arose against the Gibeonites, Joshua rose and went to battle. It is the battle where God took rocks from the hills, from the mountains, and it rained on them and let me tell you even them that are associated with you they shall taste the goodness of God because of your sake even them that are associated with you everywhere your name is mentioned everywhere they are registered have your name they shall receive a blessing for the sake of your name Bible says and God bless the house of Potiphar because of Joseph and God bless the house of Laban because of uh, Jacob there is a blessing of association. There is a blessing when you have the right association. So it shall be written and the Lord bless that company because of you and the Lord bless that business because of you and the Lord bless that institution because of you and the Lord brought goodness on that premise because of you and the Lord bless that family because of you. Every where your name is mentioned the blessings of God and the good deeds of the Lord they shall follow that place because of your name hallelujah because of your name because of your name men shall stand and say I am you but now I don't know what happened but I know one thing that lady, she used to cry to God all night. I remember the days, I remember the nights that I was laughing at her and she would not 
let me. And she was looking pathetic. She was looking like she, she needs mercy. She was looking like she is begging. But today, I have seen the result of her God. And let me tell you one thing. Men can argue with the process, but they never argue with the result. Hallelujah. They may argue with the process, but they can never argue with the result. They may argue with you right now. When you look like you are struggling. When you look like nothing good can come from you. When you look like you are the signboard of poverty. They can argue with you. But when God starts doing good in your life. They cannot argue with the result. Nobody can argue with the result. They may argue with the process. But they can never argue with the result. And the Lord is bringing result in your life. And the Lord is bringing result in your life. The Lord is bringing result in your life. The Lord is bringing result in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord is bringing result in your life. Stand up on your feet. Bible says, if you diligently obey, if you diligently obey, if you diligently obey, the condition is obedience. Hallelujah. The condition is obedience. If you diligently obey, if you obey, then these blessings shall follow you and overtake you. Blessed you shall be. When you diligently obey, then you'll be blessed. And I want you to just raise your hands and tell God, I will be obedient. I will be obedient. And then claim your result. Claim your result. It is a month of recompense. Claim your result. Write your claims unto God. Recompense is done on claims. Write your claims to God. And tell God. And tell God. Open your mouth. And tell God. It is my time now. That I see the result. It is my time now. That I see the result. It is my time now. That I see the result. It is my time that I see the result. My time is now. 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 Rapa Zakatayana. My time is now that I see the result. That I see the goodness of God. My time is now that I see the goodness of God. The time is now that I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I shall see, I shall see, I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. In the land of living, I shall not die, but I shall live. I shall live to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. Somebody open your mouth declare the goodness of God over every aspect of your life do not keep quiet but just raise your voice and tell God your goodness and your mercy your goodness and your mercy they shall follow me goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life all the days of my life our God is a God who has been faithful through the ages. His name is to be praised. His faithfulness is sure. And when he has said that he is willing to do you good and he is going to do you good, he is going to do you good because he is faithful and his faithfulness is sure. Because he is faithful and his faithfulness is sure. Somebody, somebody just open your mouth and thank God. Thank God. 
God because of his goodness. Thank God because of his mercy. Thank God because of his goodness and his mercy that are endures through generations. That his mercy that endures through generations. Thank God because his mercy has come upon your life. Thank God because his mercy is coming upon you. Thank God because he is doing great things even in your life. Thank God because he is bringing his goodness upon your life. Thank God because everything he said, he is doing it. Thank God because what he said, he is able and he is willing and he will do it. He will perform his word. Rapa zanda riba reka zata rabaganda rebranda rabazela repezekete rebayanda makazoka taraba rika zobrandeba rapa zaka tayanda ripa zola bayanda makeze rebaganda ripa zata raba rapo zele baganda ripa zanta rabayanda thank you god because you are doing us good thank you my father because you are doing me good thank you my god because you are doing me good thank you because you are bringing goodness unto me I bless you God and I give you glory and I exalt you in Jesus mighty name we are in the family week we are in the family week and when God is doing us good he is doing us good both us and our families it is for us and our families Bible says in Isaiah 54 from verse number 17 you can check there it says, for this is the heritage of the children of God. It is for us and for our children. It is not for us alone. For no born fashioned against us shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. It is a heritage for us. It is a heritage. It is our culture. It is our culture. The goodness of God is our culture. The way people say that, uh, the way Kikuyu would say that worshipping the God of Mombi is our culture. And it is a wrong culture. Now our culture as the body of Christ is the culture of goodness. It is a culture of blessed families. It is a culture of where we are born, we bring deliverance. And what comes from us, what we birth is already delivered. And I want to raise your voice and just claim and declare the goodness of God even in your family. We are in the family week and we declared we shall pray for our families. We shall pray for our families. Just open your mouth and pray for your family. Pray for your family. Pray, pray, pray for your family. Thank you, God, because of our families. Thank you, because of our families. Thank you, because you've given us families. And our families are blessed. Our families are blessed. Where we are born, and there is a blessing of God. Our parents are blessed. Our parents are blessed. Both biological and spiritual parents, they are blessed because of us. They are blessed for us. They are blessed for us. Us. They are blessed for us. They are blessed for us. In the name of Jesus, I declare the blessing of God over our families, over my family. In the name of Jesus, my wife is blessed. My wife is blessed. My children are blessed. They cannot bring shame unto the gospel of God. They cannot bring shame unto the gospel of God. They are blessed. 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 Even if you don't have children, even if you are not married just pray for that wife pray for that husband pray for those children even when they come pray for your grandchildren even when they come they shall be blessed as they are born they shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare the blessing of God, the blessing of God, the blessing of God over every place, over every family where my name is attached in the name of Jesus. And they shall say that, oh, you, my God, you are the God who is to be hallowed from generation to generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray and give thanks. Somebody can give the shout of praise unto God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You can have your seats for a minute. 
we are in the family week. And in this family week, we have to spend time and spare time, intentional time, to pray for our families. God is determined to do us good. But he is doing us good. And he is doing our families good. He is doing us good. And he is doing our families good. For that is a promise he has given us. Amen. That is a promise he has given us. Online viewers, thank you for joining us today. Today is Tuesday. It is our second day of grace, our series this week. So we meet again in the evening. Ladies have their ladies fellowship, which will be streamlined, uh, which will be streamed uh, live from the king's house starting from 6 p.m. But we start our service at 5.30. But now when you're online, you miss 30 minutes. Hallelujah. Even lunch, even our grace hour start at 12.30. But when you join us online, you miss almost one hour of prayer and worship. So that's why we keep encouraging you. Come, be live on site. Because there is much more that happens in the king's house more than what you get online. And the Lord is going to bless you and do you good. And then tomorrow we continue with our grace hour services. We also meet in the morning for uh, take, say, taking our destinies by force from 4 to 6 a.m. And you're very much welcome. And the Lord is going to bless you and do you good. Let us appreciate our online viewers. Even as we leave them in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. May the Lord bless you. And